Oh, we hooked up and I was, I wasn't even, I wasn't even unpaused yet. I, I, my, my fish sense, oh, that's a brook trout too. Oh my God, are you joking me? You've got to be joking me. Well, 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 welcome back to the greatest fishing game channel on YouTube. We're here, Golden Ridge Reserves, and we're continuing on with our beginner guide series, uh, episode three anyway. And where we left off is uh, we finished up Taylor's Tackle uh, number two, and now we're getting the uh, Taylor's Tackle advanced class, where uh, we're gonna learn the basics of spin fishing, which we already tried last episode. <laughs> so this should be fun. But anyway, let's, let's grab this. We're gonna grab these uh, silver fish challenges yes sir yes sir and the silver map challenge see if that's too difficult for us to do but otherwise hit the like button pack your tackle boxes and let's get into it everyone it's the legendary bow angles all righty mission started mission started yes sir -y. okay so basically oh silver rank sturgeon that'd be fun we got a lot of sturgeon this uh this last episode so that should be interesting uh what do we got over here silver rank burbot haven't caught a burbot yet that would be cool uh we got this diving peak map challenge to catch a silver rank channel catfish that would be interesting. And then we still have the photo challenge from yesterday. We'll just have to see what we can complete, everybody. Okay, so taking a look at this Taylor's Tackle Academy Advanced Class, we need to create a spin fishing rig with a spinner lure. Now, we should have everything we need here. We can go to the Maiden in the Rods category, and then we can click on the spinner bait, change that to a spinner, which we should have in our inventory from the last missions we already did. And then that should give us, uh, get us good to go. I would hope anyway we need to start from nothing i don't know let's create a float rod and then go back to the spinner rod spinner oh my god what more do you want from me i i'm not, yeah, I'm not really sure there must be some sort of a uh, bug still persisting through it because I've, I've watched a few videos i've seen people say that it was fixed but uh still having difficulty on my account anyway i wonder if there's something i'm not doing correctly aha all I did was kind of run a little further away, took the spinning rod out, and boom shakalaka. We're moving on. Moving on, everybody. We just need to go to a location 2.7 miles away now. Fantastic. Whoa! <laughs> I was just about to say, as we're driving along this road, we should keep a lookout for some of these other missions that uh, we needed to get for uh, the warden. Well, butter my butt and call me toast. It's another tree. The visitors will love it. God bless her cotton sock. Okie dokie. Right on. So petrified tree, we got some XP for that. Any chance we can get some XP for just finding stuff out in the wild? Great way to keep leveling up and be able to get new equipment to buy. Ooh, I spied something with my little eye over here. Oh God, there's lots of rocks. Oh God. Okay, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be fine. So I first noticed that there was a uh, diseased tree way off in the distance over there. And I thought, well, maybe I can go get to it, but it is on an island. So unfortunately, unless we go to that boat right there and get into it and go find it, uh, we're not gonna be able to get it. So I just figured we'd stop here, get a little native history for 10 XP, and then go jump up in this lookout tower for God knows what. We got it. Lookout tower, two of 22. And another coin, a Taylor's tackle token. What? Golden Ridge Reserve. What's in the name, huh? Well, this one dates all the way back to the late 18th century. French trappers named the Parcret Dole. He literally said the same thing at the last lookout tower. Is it supposed to be different, or is he just going to say the same thing every time we uh, check one of these out? So yeah, you can take as much time or as little time as you want exploring this whole area as you're making your way over to this thing that's two miles away. I might just stop at a few locations to uh, check them out, but otherwise, we're just going to keep on driving over this way. Another coin, a Spanish companionship dollar. They've got coins for everything. I'm kind of curious what he says of this one though. Later, American trappers rendered the French name in English, Golden Ridge Reserve. I quite like the old moniker, but hey, the new one's not too shabby. Okay. <laughs> I do see a few little ponds over here though. Kind of makes me want to throw a pool. Whoa, who the heck are you? Get out of here. Water. We're here to fish, not be fish. <laughs> Still let me go, let's go. Nice, so if we all just saw that right there, what we unlocked was a fast travel point. So we can click on this, fast travel. Now, if we want to get over to this point, um, we don't have to drive over here. Same with this point over here too, so that's cool. Here's a new plant. 
I thought so. Orange Hawk. I've had it up to here with them. And I bet you have. I'm gonna go through a rock, rock tunnel, secret tunnel. Stegosaurus skeleton, Taurus delight, Hunter's poison, a mature doorstop. Call it what you will, but what you're looking at is a bona fide bone. <laughs> I, I really thought at first he was trying to say that that was like an entire stegosaurus skeleton. I was like, are we missing something here? <laughs> well, that's cool. The little dino lover inside of me wish that there could have been an entire skeleton there. But a, a single bone is neat too. In like the same way getting a Tic Tac at Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory might be. All right, pulling up on class location now. Exit the vehicle here and go out on the dock. Lure, lure retrieval here. We're gonna learn about this. So yes, kind of telling us that each lure has a retrieval that you know works well with it. Um, we're gonna have to try to figure out where we can find out that information. But with this spinner, a constant retrieve is gonna work well. So we're gonna use that, and then a little bit of information on the uh, speed at which you retrieve your lure. You know, slow versus fast. If you see a fish coming after, maybe you want to slow down a little bit so it can catch up before you run out of line. That sort of thing. Let's Let's uh, cast out and see what we can catch. And real quick, I just wanted to show you, you can go into your inventory, go over, you know, hover over your lure or whatever, and it will tell you down below techniques, constant stop and go twitching. These are kind of things that you can use to catch fish with this, twitching with the frog, constant with the spinner. That way you can kind of confirm your suspicions on what sort of retrieval work with those lures. So we've got our size seven spinner out. We're gonna cast into the dip into the depths let it sink down to the bottom and then start to retrieve it at a constant speed I usually stick to two speed three speed just seems a little bit fast for me if I do start to see a fish coming after it or if I'm down to the last like 15 20 feet I will maybe go down to a one speed just so that in it, if any fish is following it it can catch up unfortunately I don't sure if there is a proximity setting in uh in call of the wild the angler so I can't I I don't know if we can get rid of people being so close to us. Otherwise, I don't know why this guy stood right in front of me. You see a fish way down there though. Oh goodness, we're like at cast five now. Just saw some orange trout jumping over here, so I'm hopeful that maybe they'll go for it. I casted it right on top of them. Constant retrieve, nine feet down, one speed. I mean, it's just, it's just ripe for the picking. Grab that sucker. Oh my God. Oh my God. We got him. Ah. Let's go. <laughs> that was like my eighth cast casting around. And I was losing it, losing it. I was like, what is going on? Why is this taking so long? Well, good deal. So just keep at it, I guess. Keep on casting around. I, I started casting into the deep and then I was like, maybe I should stick to the bank. Maybe that's where the smaller fish are or something like that. But there we go. Top notch, a little bronze bro uh, rainbow trout. We'd been seeing orid trout all over the place, but uh, yeah, rainbow trout, uh, that'll work. And that should complete the challenge. It's ruining, ru it ruined that whole build up here telling us about this. And we leveled up to level seven. It wants us to catch a silver rank brook trout. Well, top notch. As long as we're not location bound, I'm gonna go to a, uh, a location that had a lot of trout during the beta. And hopefully we'll catch some up there. This, uh, this location just a little slow for me. So we're gonna get in the car, travel uh, way over there. You may notice it's a different time of day. And that is because we went out on a wild goose chase to a different place because we took so long to catch a fish here. I just wanted to go somewhere else, anywhere else to catch a freaking brook trout. We caught a gold brook trout. We caught a silver brook trout over in another location, which was fantastic during the beta. So I think I'm going to show a little bit of film of that right now, but then we'll come right back to this. Boat. Boop. Let's zoom on over to that river. Okie dokie. So we've driven right over here. You can see where the bridge is and the river coming out in this direction. And we, oh, a fish just jumped right there. I was going to say, we'll just cast out all the way around from this point to this point. Hopefully get some fish to come after this. Should be a lot of trout in here. So we'll just have to see. The last time I was here was actually in a live stream. We were uh, fishing right in the same area and catching a lot of brook trout, a lot of cutthroat trout. Um, so I'm hoping not only will we catch some trout, but 
we'll also get that silver rank brook trout we need for this uh, class challenge. So let's see if we can manage it. Whoa, okay, there we go. Decent fish, man. And pulling out line. Whoa, what do we have? Goodness gracious. Whoa, big jump there. Didn't look like a brook trout. <laughs> <laughs> though <laughs> big fish on big fish on goodness gracious this is definitely the biggest fish we've caught so far or at least fought with so far we haven't caught him yet wishful thinking maybe got my uh fingers golly man look at that got my fingers on the drag just in case it does get towards the top oh that's a big rainbow man gotta be a gold rainbow gotta be a gold rainbow <laughs> all right close to breaking there oh look at him jump Look at him jump. Whoa. He's gotta be getting tired, man. He has put up a fight for 70 plus feet. I almost got him in the teens, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Line got so close to breaking there. In the teens. In the teens. Come on. Scoop him up. Scoop him up. You got him at 12. It's in the 10, 8, 7. Get him in. Come on now. Oh, no. Wish we could see him. Come on. Come on. Oh, big jump, big jump. We get like, come on, get him. Silver, silver, bro, 10 pounder, 10.64 pound rainbow, only a silver. Goodness gracious, man. 6,973 score, new best rank, that's for sure. Plus 4,945. <laughs> that is awesome, man. Heck of a fish, only a silver. Uh, yeah, we can get a nice little nice little look at him right here. Not the fish we need for this mission, but that is a silver fish. Top notch, dude. Ooh, hooked up on something. Ooh, it looks like a golden trout to be quite honest. It could be a it could be cutthroat, but it's it's not a it's not a brook trout, unfortunately. Yeah, it's definitely a cutthroat. Just about got him to the point where we can bring him in here. Come here, you. There we go. Nice. Nice silver cutthroat right there. 5.72 pounds. That is sweet, man. Yeah, sweet. I mean, it's on the spinner and everything like that. A little bit different time. As you can see, we were almost going into, uh, you know, the sunset, I guess. So it is kind of later in the evening now. I'm assuming that this might be a thing where cutthroat goes at one, one part of the day, rainbows during another time of the day, brook trout at a different... So we may have to stay here a little bit until uh, it circles around different times of the day. But super cool to see this fish, though. Cutthroat had the silver uh, rainbow. Now we got the silver cutthroat. Just keep at it, guys. Who knows? Oh, okay. Level eight. Got 20 leeches, 20 liver. Let's go. And 20 marshmallow. Well, they're giving us all sorts of stuff right now. Ooh, we're hooked up. Now, if this is also a cutthroat, I have a feeling that will uh, confirm my suspicions about the uh, times of day. We'll just have to see. Whoop. Whoop. Definitely don't want to reel and pull up at the same time. <laughs> that is just a little too much pressure, I think. Right, close to us. We're going to be able to get him. Oh, come on, you. Get in here. Let's go. <gasps> oh my God. Is it gonna count? Is it gonna count though? Cause this is a gold, not a silver. Oh, now I'm, now I'm curious. Now I'm curious, but look at that fish, man. Let's go. Look at that fish, comma man. This is not a fish, man. This isn't one piece or something like that. That's awesome. 3,629 score, 6.52 pounds. That is exactly what we're looking for, everybody. All right, come on. I'm really curious if that's gonna do it. Oh, no, it was too much. I was basically just doing a two times speed, constant retrieve, and that guy came out and grabbed it. Oh, I can't believe it. Let's go. Dude, it's just constant. It's one bite after another. This guy's coming in really fast. Look like a little whitefish, maybe. Silver Mountain Whitefish, let's go. This is great. This is great. I'm actually gonna mark down. Might as well. Gold brook trout. If I can find it. There we go. Brook trout. Got it. Got it. We're good. Fish jumping everywhere. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Woo! If he is a brook trout, then he's not the Oh, it is a brook trout. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go! That's what we needed, boys. That's what we needed. Hid my camera, I was so excited about it. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, sweet. Oh man, that, that is what we needed. 
everybody the silver brook trout 3.24 pounds doing the exact same thing we were doing with everything else 14 10 score let's see if this does it what what size seven spinner silver brook trout are we learning the hard way right now you've got to be joking me okay so here we are <laughs> gosh dang it i can't believe we completed it we got the silver brook trout and now we're back definitely you have to catch it in this area i i didn't see the uh the map marker anymore after we left so i thought we were free to go somewhere else but not the case oh we hooked up and i was i wasn't even i wasn't even unpaused yet i i my my fish sense oh, that's a brook trout too oh my god are you joking me you've got to be joking me dude who's instant second cast out here you have got to be kidding me oh my god i cannot believe we went out on an hour-long tangent to another location to catch a fish because it was taking so long to catch one here and that is what we get on the second cast well let's go that's what we're talking about this is exactly what you need to finish that part of the challenge I hope. Let's release the fish and see. Sure enough. Okay. Well, how about that? <laughs> Mission completed. Mission completed. Catch three silver rank fish of any species. Well, now I wish I was back at the other location because we were catching silver fish one after another. Okay. Oh, and now line. That's a good sign. It rhymed. I didn't even mean it. So if anything, this could be a, a silver rainbow, perhaps. I like to think I'm getting the hand of the fighting in this game. I think I'm making shorter work of these fights. That was a Okay, that was a pretty decent sized rainbow. Maybe we've got ourselves our first silver rainbow. Nice. There we go. Uh, first rainbow silver. Almost eight pounds there. Nice. They got a nice little light on you, bud. That is going to be one of three that we need, right? Yes, it counted. Okay, top notch. We don't have to be stuck at that other location anymore. Well, good deal. Whoa, he's a big one. He's a big one. We got him. We're hooked up. Here we go. Starting him in the 20s. Whoa. <laughs> Come on, bro. We we're so close. Come on. There we go. Let's go. That is going to do it. Hey, backpack expansion one. Did we just get level nine or something? I'm curious. Huh? Huh? Let's release this fish here. But uh, cool. That's awesome. Whoa, level 10. I thought we were still getting to level nine. Gosh dang, man. Three levels, uh, three videos in. We're at, we're at level 10 now. Top notch. These challenges uh, are getting us on some fish and leveling up, man. Oh, that's a good size one. Come on, man. Grab that. Okay. That wasn't the one I thought would grab it, but that one's fine too. Look at him take out line, dude. Like that. He's either a big silver or he might just be going into gold, unfortunately. <laughs> Come on, dude. Nice. Oh, it is a silver. Top notch. Almost 10 pounds. 5,955 score. Got some credits. Got some XP. That's for sure. That little boy right there is going to let us beat this challenge, everybody. Go to the challenge board, it says. Well, before we do that, I think we have just a few more challenges to do. So let's see if we can manage that. All right. Let's see. What do we have here? We got two more silver challenges. Bjorn has joined us. We've got this map challenge for a silver rank channel catfish and a silver rank burbot. Okay, so we do need to catch a silver burbot and a silver uh, channel cat. So I wanted to take a look at Taylor's tackles because I do believe it's only 350 uh, little credits here. 6.61 pounds. I do know that if we go into spinning, like we have 8.82 pounds available uh, for spinning rods, which is very tempting. But this is 4.92 feet. This is 13.12 feet, which I assume will help us cast out further. But do we even want to do that? I don't know. I think I will unlock the brass monkey here. That is 8.82 pound max line. Take a look at the line and find there is 8.82 pound mono, 8.82 pound fluorocarbon. And we've got strength 4.41, max drag 5.5, 6.6. What does that mean? Let's go ahead and buy the Othello because it's the, it's the strongest one. Try to create this rod here. Float rod, brass monkey, Othello. 8.82 okay cool we can put the cigar float on here now can we get a smaller hook is the question cheese should work for uh catfish we'll have to look at the burbot as well dude we don't under we don't get a size four hook till level 15. hmm we could get the size six for now 
And then when we get to 12, we could get the size five. That would get us pretty close anyway. Oh no, let's try the size six for now, I guess. All right, so we've made it to the location of where we can catch this channel catfish, though I'm not sure if we'll be able to catch the right size one. We're just gonna have to toss out and see how we can do, I guess. Got cheese on there right now. We could switch to something else, but like I said, look at the handbook and look at the channel cat. Cheese, red worm, leeches. These should be just fine. We're just gonna toss this out and see what we can catch. They don't have a current in the game yet, which is interesting, but I hope that nighttime should be a good time for the channel cat. We'll just have to see. Certainly see a lot of sturgeon jumping around though. Whoa, okay. Right on, right on. Not really having to uh, do much with the drag here. Makes me wonder what we caught. It does look to be a little channel cat. Well, it's our first channel cat. It is a bronze. <laughs> we just got a few of these guys uh, when I was back in Kansas. So that's awesome. Well, that's neat. Right fish, wrong size. Interest, interest. Ooh, he's taking out some line too. Okay, all right, I see you. Try to get some of this line back in. Got a slightly stronger rod, uh, stronger line. Everything is stronger compared to those trout we were just fighting. Looks like we could probably increase the drag even more too. I think we're just starting to break him here. He's uh, he's not really able to pull much line out. We're not, you know, pumping the rod any much. He's certainly trying to fight us, but I think the reel just has so much drag that he's not able to pull out anymore. So we're just pulling him straight in basically. Let's see what we have here. It is a channel cat. That's a good sign. I was just thinking how bad it would be if this turned out to be some shovel nose sturgeon after that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, five feet. Come on, baby. Yeah, let's go. 8.82 pounds there. Top notch. Nice size channel cat. I will say, I'd say the, the image of the channel cat looks a little small for an 8.82 pounder. I, I've caught a channel cat uh, recently that was just over eight pounds and it, it looked bigger than this one. So very cool. That's, uh, that's pretty awesome. 4,100 score. 8.82 pounds, 1.69 feet. Very nice. It's probably a little short too. 1.69, not even two, two feet. Come on, 8.82 pound channel? <sighs> Must have had a fat belly. <laughs> Hot dang, that's gonna get us level 11 too. All right, well top notch. So that is another uh, little thing there. Now we have the sturgeon and we have the burbot. Guess we'll uh, put on the sturgeon and see if we can go catch a sturgeon now. Ooh, and we're actually close by. Top notch. I'm gonna run up here because I think this might be a trailhead that we can get a fast travel point to, and then we're gonna head back down to here. I feel like my driving has uh, gotten better. Um, I've put the size six back onto this uh, rod with the eggs. We're gonna toss it out to where I just saw a fish jumping anyway. I don't know if it was a sturgeon or what it was, but might as well go to where we see action. Whoa, that is not what we're looking for. <laughs> A silver orid trout. Wow. Okay. Top notch. We might have to look for something else. I have made the executive decision that it is not the time of day to be fishing for sturgeon. Two hours later. Oh my god. We actually caught a sturgeon. And it's silver. Let's go on the liver. Oh my goodness gracious. I was I was sure that we were going to have to wait. <laughs> we were going to have to wait till it was like afternoon or something like that. But the liver, the liver finally did it at level 12. Top notch. Okay. So that was at eight in the morning at this location for the, the journal challenge. I just wanted to throw that out there. Well, everyone, I think I'm just about at my limit for this video. <laughs> I know I've recorded over an hour and I've played for probably three or four hours and I cannot manage to get this darn sturgeon, nor can I get the burbot for those two different challenges. We still need to make our way over to the main outpost and uh, turn in that thingamabob, I believe. Let's go see. Ah, there we go. Taylor's tackle challenge complete. And we have the expert challenge up next. Woo! Yeah, I got a gold map challenge. We got a gold fishing challenge, top notch. Still have the darn silver challenges we need to complete in the photo challenge, but 
this is all going to be in the next video, as you can all imagine. So if you enjoyed the video, obviously hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already for more videos in the future. When I figure out how to catch that darn sturgeon and burbot, you better believe I'm going to be putting it in the next video or something of the sort so that you can all keep up with it. So if you do need to know when this is all uh, or how to do all of this stuff, uh, you obviously keep up with it. I think it would also be helpful if I could break these videos down to the individual missions. That way you can see each one. That way if people tend to have issues with each individual mission, maybe I can have something there for them. But otherwise, I think we did pretty good for this, uh, this episode. We got a lot done today. Uh, not really, but uh, it feels, I feel like I've done a lot. <laughs> Anywho, until the next episode, everyone, take care. We'll see you next time, and as always, remember everyone. We're one planet, one family, game on.